the post office. What? Man, I'm such a f entrepreneur. <laughs> So I'm here at the post office. It might not be such a big deal for a lot of people that selling something on Poshmark, like nowadays you can sell things on Amazon, you can sell things on. I just feel excited because I never been kind to sell my clothes, especially my clothes. I always stay with them, never wanted to give them away or I don't know, man. I just feel excited about this. It just feels like it feels good. Entrepreneur status right here. I uh, just sold my first items in Poshmark. So you can call me Entrepreneur Life. I'm going to change my Instagram bio name to Entrepreneur just because I, I made some money while I was sleeping and it feels good. <laughs> entrepreneur forward slash saleswoman. Probably going to give you some tips on how to sell and how to be successful selling. A book is gonna be coming out, an audiobook too. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of things from this experience. <laughs> I'm writing these thank you cards and I messed up two already. This is my second day of writing thank you cards for the second purchase and I can't multitask apparently. The next thing to do is to do my shorts, thanking the clients, my fans for the purchase. And of course I'm putting a plug in there on my YouTube channel, see if I can get some traction in there. <laughs> gonna do this on my own 10 day real challenge oh i'm going this way oh my god there's so many people here at the spot that i want to uh do this at why of all days kids go home stop being out here are you taking a piss next to the car you disgusting yeah there's too many people i don't know mm. plus the sun is not on this side so i'm just gonna scour out another place this point you probably would have already seen the 10 day real challenge i used to be one of those that didn't want to be like at least on instagram well if you haven't watched the video go watch it if you're interested obviously and that i wanted to make it like a, like my my life not much like fabricating pictures and content you know just showing just showing you know what i do or if i if i go out somewhere show that and i wasn't really into it for a lot of i've had instagram for like i don't know since 2012 i've never been a creative person but this like at least with youtube and um, i think i'm actually just tapping into it creating the youtube videos and the editing has really helped me so right now i'm getting ready to take a video these pants are ripped if you haven't seen my vlog my january vlog video i ripped it and i uh the stories in there how i ripped them hopefully they don't rip while i'm shooting because that's gonna be super super fun and if they rip during it i'm gonna leave it like that because it's organic So I'm here uh, trying to do my stupid reels and I went to this parking garage thinking that they had the third floor open and they have a class. No, and there's a bunch of people parking here. Why are you parking here? Stop it. Ah, this is so awkward. I hate doing this in front of people. I guess I gotta be proud. I gotta be proud of what I do for free. So I moved from where I was because there was a car there that the, the guy still is in the car and now I parked over here 
And then this kid came in his stupid car and parked like right in front of me. And uh, he's eating his lunch, I guess. Because I see him eating and like looking down. So now my whole background and um, my vibe is ruined because oh. I try to do it here on this side. And he keeps looking up so, so he knows I'm here. Kind of like do it on this side. I think I'm just gonna go for it because I don't want to wait for him to finish his lunch and decides to leave. Um, I have my, I have my tripod and my stuff ready. So, oh, I'm zoomed in. Hold on. Oh yeah, he's leaving. He's leaving. Let's go work. Let's go work. Something sweet, I'm hungry. I know, but I'm just saying that's a, such a bad look when you're doing a video. Yeah, that's why I throw away the other gum. I have some gum. I feel that after I clean out the kitchen this weekend, I kind of like took a step back and I was just like, Have I become a minimalist? Is that is that what I've become already? I feel like I've been jumping from one place to another that moving all this shit, it just made me realize damn i have a lot of shit that i don't even use there's like clothes that i haven't worn there's clothes that i buy with that still have the tag and that just applies to everything else i like more the fact that i like having less stuff laying around it clashes a lot with my situation nowadays I've got to give my boyfriend some credit for that too but also this girl on YouTube that I follow Miss Kelly Stamps and she is like that I will see her videos of her showing her closet and literally she had like four shirts three pants and, and like two two shoes two pairs of shoes next thing you know in a month she will get rid of all those clothes and buy new clothes that's fun you know like you don't have to like hold on to a piece of clothing like what does that mean to you unless you really really truly like it 